is Jacqueline Davis for Supporting Mom, and I am here today because I want to show and share with you guys a special treat on how to make apple donuts, okay? Something very simple, affordable, and you can make it for your kids for treats when they get out of school, when they wake up from their nap. This is something that you can serve to them. Um, the kids are away, so I'm going to be doing this by myself. But the things that you would need is milk, you would need flour, you would need sugar, and you also need an egg, vanilla extract, and cinnamon. Now, along with the sugar, you can use brown sugar as well for the topping, and it's gonna be amazing. So, stay tuned, and we're gonna get right to it. Okay, so we're back, and we're about to get started with making our apple donuts. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you get three, four cup of flour, which I already measured it, but you can measure it. Um, I use all-purpose flour. You can use um, whatever type of flour you would like. Once you add your flour, you're going to take one-fourth cup of sugar, and you're going to add that in. And you can, like, beat that up just a little bit, okay? And you can also add cinnamon. Okay, I usually just sprinkle in just a little bit, but you can add at least two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, but you want that batter to be tasty. And then you can, uh, like I do, you know, I usually, um, once I make it, I come back and um, add a little more so I can taste it, because I do love cinnamon. You want to do vanilla extract, so I usually do, you can do tea, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, but I'm gonna do it in the cap. Let's do three. Okay. Then you wanna add one, a half a cup of milk, okay? Um, like I said, I already measured it. And then you're just going to mix up your batter. Now, if your batter is a little bit too thick, then you just want to add a little bit more milk. Depending on what size um, your bowl is and how much you want to make. So, I'm going to add a little bit more milk. And then I'm going to keep stirring. See how it's turning out. You don't want it too thin and you don't want it too thick, okay? Like you're making cookie dough. It should be more like a pancake mix. So if you can see that, you want it to be just like that as you are stirring, okay? I like to at least taste. <laughs> oh, now that is good. That is good. Oh my god, that's gonna be good. Okay, so I'm making this for my kids, so you know, I gotta make sure it's right for them because if not, they're not gonna be happy. Okay, so we're gonna set aside this next. You gotta have your apples because that's this is how you're going to um cook your apple banana. I mean, not apple banana, your apple. Your apple donut, exactly. So I already have one cut here. And like I said, mothers can get everything. <laughs> Let's add one egg. The egg is going to give it, the, um, so it can hold everything together, okay? And we're gonna mix that egg in there, just like that. I am so silly. I was like, I know I'm missing something. And it was, it was my egg. We definitely need that egg. Some people don't use egg in their batter. They feel like they don't have to have it. You know, a lot of things you don't need eggs. But, you know, for me, just make sure that it all work out the way I want it to work. I am going to add my egg. And see how that looks? Looks good. Okay, so now we can set aside 
that and we can focus on our apple okay like i said i already have one cut okay um you want to peel the apple you know i use a knife some people use tools but all i do is go gently around and i go down and then i do it again until i go all the way around like I said, I do something affordable. Don't want to spend a lot of money. Something that's easy, especially when I'm trying to think of something, a treat to eat. And see, I just do that. And make sure I stay real close to the edge because you don't want to um, peel all um, your apple. Then you're not going to have an apple to, to fry, okay? So once I do that, you know, I just go back and over the ones that I missed just like that now they also have a tool where you can puncture a hole through the apple which I'm going to use a knife I'm going to show you how you can do this without having to use all those tools if you don't have it and you just need to do this real quick okay I'm just going to take this part off at the bottom okay something real quick so as you can see my apple is peeled apple is peeled so what I'm going to do you can stab the apple this is something that you will do for your kids I will not let your kids do this because you will need a sharp knife you will do that and just kind of take it for incision making a square okay making a square and then you lift it back up and then you until you complete that square make sure you all connect okay and then you take it back up and then you go back down with it again you want to turn it over and do the same thing because you want to be able to push it through now you should be able to feel where you cut because it's a little bit softer and then once you do that all you have to do it just push it through okay see and then you just push it through and then when you push it through it ends up like this so we do have both of these and um there we go <laughs> so i do want to take this off so what you're going to do now you're going to take your apple you're going to cut off the end part you know you want to make it even then you want to go and you want to start cutting your apples. Okay. So we do four on this one. Four, four, four. So we have four. And then we're going to do these two. So uh, I'm going to cut off just a little part. Move that because you don't need it. Then you're going to cut off four, just like that. Now you have your cut apples, okay? And I'm gonna do my stick them in here. So that's done. Okay, so you're gonna need vegetable oil because you do have to heat the oil up. Um, make sure that your, your oil is hot before put dipping it in because if not then your batter is going to start pulling away from your apples so make sure you do that i'm going to go and heat up my oil and i'll be right back all right guys so i am back and we have our dough we have our um our dough. we have our mixture we have our apples and we have our grits so the only thing let me take this out the only thing we have to do now is to um Dip the apple. Uh, there go. Dip the apple in the dough, just like this. I'm just gonna rotate it around. Once you do that, then you kind of like shake it off a little bit, okay? And then you place it in the grease, but be very careful when you place it in the grease that it don't splash because your grease is hot. So I'm going to do it. With a couple of them that one actually works. so be gentle when you're dipping it inside the 
the dough. Because I broke one. I broke one. But it's okay because it's still going to taste delicious. And you continue to keep doing that until all of your apples are made, okay? I hate when my hands get dirty. So hold on. Let me try them off. And let me let y'all see it right quick. So as you look into it, it's cooking. You don't want to cook it too long, but you want to cook it just enough for the um both sides to be brown once they're brown then you will be good okay so i'm gonna put that back right there so it's cooking and so i can flip it so this one is browning so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna turn it over turn it over Move the dough so you can see it. Spread it over there. Because you just want it to brown, okay? So you can have that crisp flavor. So, like I said, this is my first one that I'm doing. I actually saw this recipe, so. I'm hoping it'll turn out great because I know the kids will love this. I, I really hope that they will love this. So once it's done, I'll put it on paper towels because I want to drain the grease off of it. So I'm going to get a piece of plate. I'm going to get a paper plate and I'm going to put the paper towel on it. Take the plate and towel over it like that. And then once you get it to where you want it to be, you just take it out and you put it over here. That looks good. <laughs> and we're going to do that with all of them. You're letting it drain. So then you take the rest of your apples and just put them inside the batter. But you just want it on the apple. You don't want it to be milk. It's more of a cake look. You just want to barely hold it up and just put it in the batter. Because the first time I get a nose that was tissue, just on the donut. And then you place it in. Just on the outer part of the donut. Okay? And then you put it in. And then you have one last one. Okay? Just outer part. Be careful that they don't break if you have soft apples. Why don't you do the last one? I'll put it in the tea. And then we're going to let that cook. Okay, so while that is finished cooking up, we want to add some um, brown sugar to the bowl. I'm using brown sugar. You can use white sugar, whichever way, whichever one you want, okay? And then you want to add a little bit of cinnamon in with that brown sugar. And then you want to mix that up, okay? So this is what you're going to sprinkle on there when all of it's done, especially when it's still hot because it'll stick, okay? You can use white sugar or you can use brown. I love brown sugar, so I'm gonna use brown sugar, okay? And then we're gonna add this on our donut while it's hot. Hold it, here we go. Okay, so while they're draining and they're still kinda hot, you wanna take your brown sugar and you can use your hand and you can just sprinkle the cinnamon brown sugar over, over your donuts okay and you can use a little bit more i love it i love the taste of it so just want to sprinkle just enough then you want to make sure that make a little design on it i just use a spoon that has like a hole in it and then i have my sugar and i usually just go and do this hold this over it and then just sprinkle that that's the so it won't pour too much and you are how You know, just enough on there where you don't put too much of that. It's a lot of sugar. <laughs> okay. And we're out.
done. So I am complete. Our apple donuts are done. And now it's time to taste it, okay? So I am going to try one. Okay, so I'm picking up one as you can see. And I'm about to taste this. So let's see how it tastes. Oh my God. This is delicious. My kid. My kids really gonna love this. It tastes just like apple pie donuts. <laughs> but this is amazing, okay? Mm. Delicious. That is a great treat to make for your kids. When they come home from school, they can come home, grab them a couple and eat. It's still kind of good because, you know, apples is a, a, a fruit, so it's a good thing. But don't know if you eat too much because they do have a little sugar on top. But it's a great treat while they're doing their homework or they're waiting for dinner to get made. Um, but that is definitely something that you can make. Um, if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also hit that notification button um, so it can notify you when we actually do another video. On top of that, follow us on Instagram at smom101 where we share uh, our photos and we also share um, our kids, our life, our ideals, um, and some things on there that you will love to take in. And also our fan page on Facebook, which is Supporting Mom, but you can find us as Small One on One as well. And like that and support. Now, another thing, guys, we do have a T-Shirt 21 website, and we just started this company. We just launched this a couple of days ago. Go on there and you can baby um, customize your shirts, your kids shirts, onesies, um, leggings. You can customize the way you want it, put your own design, your own wording on it and make it your own and you know, wear it out. I have mine shipping to me so I'm going to be sharing that with you guys too as well. But make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and I do thank you guys for staying to the end and looking at the end result of our apple donut so stay tuned because also my kids gonna be doing a special recipe which will be donuts too an apple donut but theirs do not consist of cooking it on the stove or anything like that um it's very 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 um easy to do and it's very manageable for the kids so thank you guys for tuning in and i'll talk to you guys later bye and i'm gonna eat this donut uh-oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bye.